Hello, welcome to this first video of the series called Dev Tips. In this video, I will regularly post some of the tips that I believe are useful to any developers. Today, I will introduce you the first video with uh, online entitled online terminals and IDE. So why am I posting this video? It's very common that like when you are starting to learn a new technology, say so you are starting to learn Oracle or you are starting to learn Python or Lua or C++. Usually what we developers do is like we spend a lot of time making the setup and this is time consuming before we even start uh, typing the basic hello world of the technology that we want to use. But Thanks to there are some online tools that can allow you as a programmer to directly start with the basic uh, functionalities of technology that you are using. And if you like, suppose like if you like it, then you can go and install it to your PC directly. If you don't want, then you can move to the next one. And among these tools are uh, this one that I found on tutorial points. On tutorial points, there are some online terminals and IDE that are available from here as you can see here from here you don't have to install anything in your PC nothing at all you just have to open uh, this web page and click of the technology on the technology that you want to use like right now I can directly click on C++ then I will go here directly to the terminal and right now suppose I want to learn how to program C++ on Linux then usually what we do you have to set up Linux and then set up this process import some library and blah blah this is time consuming and thankfully with this online terminal you can really start like here compile it compile your program and then execute it and then you have a lower world I can add something again suppose I can copy write some silly things that is also then compile it run it then you can see then I can move to directly to MongoDB like I go here and then click on another technology here I go to MongoDB and in MongoDB can write that write it like any command like show GBS to see what are the databases that are available there nothing is there so I use test use uh, test and then that's not all I can easily go to Oracle for example Oracle 11 G Express and try suppose select I want to learn how to I want to learn SQL on Oracle select select all from G B A underscore users then semicolon tape and here you can see so these are some there are a lot of IDEs and terminals are there directly available to you for you to start doing whatever you want and with these tools you can directly go now to any tutorial and then start it directly without spending any time for the installation and setup and then later on if you like it then you can go and install it in your computer so I hope that this first tips is useful to you and then it will help you uh, gain a lot of time in the next technology that you are going to start learning thank you for watching and then see you in the next tutorial i hope you like it bye <coughs>